So, uh, variable oxidation state. Keep coming out. This one's so short. Okay, here we go. Uh, transition metals tend to have variable oxidation state. You and I know very well. Uh, why? Once again, because of the 4S and 3D are so close. Oh, 4S go, 3D also might go. Uh, once 4S electron removed, some or all of the 3D electron may also be removed without requiring much energy. S block can't. Fix OS plus 1 or plus 2. Once the outermost electron in the S orbitals are removed, they are all in the S orbitals. Subsequent removal would be from the inner P orbital. All right? Or the P subshell. Uh, P subshell. So it requires too much energy. So it doesn't happen. Yeah, done. There is a one mark, okay? In exam, we don't expect too much. So for transition metal, in case you don't know, you should. There is a maximum oxidation state. You need to know this. Okay? What is the maximum oxidation state you can get, which is due to the removal electron? Very easy. Is from the number of 4S electrons, which go out first, and then go inside a bit more, the number of 3D electrons, but it must be unpaired. It must be unpaired. So if we take a look at scandium to manganese, okay, the value of the maximum oxidation state for these elements, scandium manganese, suggests that all the available 3D and 4S electron may be used for bonding. What do I mean by that? The maximum oxidation state. Let me jump the gun, go here. Ladies and gentlemen, is this table important to you? You have this in your school notes, I'm very sure. Okay, there is a reason. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, till now, did I ask you to memorize anything? No. But I already said there are things to be memorized. Got to memorize things here. What are the things you need to memorize? Not that much. You look at the table, then you give up. Don't. Okay, ready? These are the known oxidation state of the transition elements. First of all, I hope you appreciate it's a V shape. Very easy to memorize. Must have strategy. That's why we give all this to y'all. Now, there are two parts I want you to appreciate. First, the most familiar oxidation state are being shaded in brown. Most familiar. So, for example, we know very well that scandium is plus 3 OS or 3 plus. Titanium, the known one are plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Vanadium, these are the few. Then it's like a lot of, wow, like memorize, right? No. Everyone, data book it out. I think less than five we need to memorize. Nobody tell you before, right? Because they expect you to use your eyes, which you didn't. Who? You know. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, help me check electrochemical series. E not value, table A, the one on alphabetical order. Let me show you how and why I think transition matter is a topic that we spend very little time. In fact, all in the next. Ready? Have scandium or not? Don't have? Only one of them? Red color stands for memorize. Okay? Which is not a difficult one. Anyway, it's 3 plus one. Okay? But anyway, it's not there. Cannot refer. So memorize. We want. Titanium. Do you have the common oxidation state? Check for T. Have or don't have? Titanium, is it in the transition matter? Uh, I mean, in the inner value, don't have. Okay. I memorize it. Vanadium. Do you know vanadium very well? Damn, there's a lot. Give me the exact ion. All right, ready? In blue. This, I give you V2+. plus. V3+. plus. Plus four. Please give me its identity. There's oxidation state. Plus four. Don't look at me. It's in the data booklet. Do your counting. V. O. The two is which two? The charge on R. Done. Done. Plus five. Finish it. V. O. Is V. O. Three minus in the data booklet? Three. Like that. Like that. All right, all right. Is there another one? Ah, are you familiar? I think this one, right? Check. Got this thing inside there? Ladies and gentlemen, copy down. You realize you don't have to memorize one. <laughs> you go and just have fun. There's only a few that we need to memorize. 
That's why we say it's called data booklet. You realize all sciences and math, ours have data booklet. Because it's there to help you. If you don't know how to leverage on it, it's going to be a very difficult experience. Okay, chromium, everyone need me to emphasize, don't need now, the common one, all right? Who are they? This is your CR3+, plus, your dichromate, right? That's boring. It's K2CR207, two minus. All right, oh, CR207, two minus, done. So no need to memorize. Manganese, take a look at the M. Are you familiar? Give me a plus two oxidation state. What are you waiting for? The colorless ion. Plus four. The brown PPT, remember? Mild oxidation, right? In alkenes. Do you see how fast I move? And I long time never do organic react, longer than you. I got no test, no exam. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, plus seven. Oh, boring, right? Done. Iron, you need me to explain. Huh? Okay. Let's finish up. All right. Cobalt, is it in the data booklet? I'm very sure it is. Okay. Because recently we do a lot of cobalt. Uh, I, I use an example. Nickel, is it inside there? Done. Copper, inside there. Zinc, inside there. Ladies and gentlemen, less than five. Okay. And I need to know every one of them. So that you go in, you see a transition matter question, you will smile at it and you play. And not hear people say, oh, transition matter is the most difficult, so difficult. Not difficult. Okay, all right. So this is a common oxidation state. Then we need to talk about the maximum oxidation state. It's bolded. And this is the V-shaped graph, which is beautiful. From scantium to zinc, including the two, uh, uh, two ends, scantium and zinc. Okay, so the maximum OS is plus seven. Obviously, because octet say is eight. The maximum you can give out electron or whatever is seven. Make sense? Okay, again, okay. common sense. Done. So this is what this is the maximum you can have. So if we take a look at the maximum, right? Uh, and this is where we want to discuss a bit. Okay, huh? the rest we discuss again. You see how I move? I want to know every freaking inch of my nodes. Ready and gentlemen, are you ready? Scandium. Scandium, if I'm not wrong, is AR uh, 3D, 3D1. 3D1, 4S2, I think. All right, that's why it is Scandium 3 plus. Out, out, unpaired. You check all the way to manganese, all right? So from Scandium to manganese, there are quite a number of them. Let me go to manganese. Stock is cheap. Prove to yourself. I scared you don't prove, so I'm doing all the hard work for you now. Because after that, I want you to tell yourself there's nothing in this topic. Ready? D, five electrons, never pair up. Consider done. Pump, pump. Manganese plus three OS in MNO4 minus. Okay, there's it plus three, plus, plus seven. The OS. Uh. Everyone okay? In MNO4 minus. Can okay, everyone? Maximum oxidation state. Then let's have one more to discuss, which is here. Iron to zinc. All right. After this, uh, which is your uh, manganese, there will be pairing of the 3D electrons. Uh, by the way, you're not supposed to uh, explain. Uh, if they ask you to explain this answer, write them out. Write the formula out. And then write the statements that I write here in your own language. Pairing of it shows that there's an increase, decrease in the number of electrons available for covalent bond formation. So let's play with it. Uh, let me just draw it out. Iron, argon, uh, 3D1, don't need flip. Anyone? 3D6, 4S2, is it? Okay. Uh, give me one more after iron is what? Uh, so we can see. Uh, cobalt. So uh, this one I know because one more, right? Easily you can show. Okay. So here we go. So what is the maximum can go out? Four. Wait, give me a moment. I'm confused. Oh, this one is two. Okay, sorry. <laughs> too excited. Do it like I'm going out. Huh? Okay, so here we go. Iron. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one don't touch. One, two, three, four. Only four can go out. Ready? 
right? Three D six. Okay, so it become lesser and lesser. So from here, take a look. This is two, and then here is become three. So again, now this is max. I repeat myself, uh, this is the max you can go out. Doesn't mean you want to achieve that. It's not the most common. Okay, everyone. So as you can see, that is what is happening. Okay, here we go. So iron, I just show you is six, right? Remember? All right. So uh, this is a max, but it doesn't mean the most iron in universally they like to be six, right? Cobalt is five. We stated very clearly over here, as you can see. So this whole table is yours already. Nothing to memorize, I think, except one or two things. Uh, iron, just now we say, right? There's iron, maximum six. Remember, okay? Cobalt, five. Okay. Done. So all this, do you memorize number? I never memorized before. But you want very easy, lah. Three to seven, seven two. It's a shortcut, lah, If you want, right? V shape, up to you. Whatever you want to do with it. Okay. Some outlier. So outlier means I want to memorize a bit. Okay. Now, uh, note that copper. All right. Uh, we talked about this before. Copper one tends to be uh unstable, and they tend to disproportionate to copper two plus and copper. Everyone should know this from your school already. I hope. Because yesterday, because someone asked me also, eh, copper one plus is good. Eh? You get rid of this, it's like very stable or whatever. Makes sense. Eh? I'm very happy. Yeah, why not you don't? Eh? Uh, not within our jurisdiction. That's why I put memorize, don't waste time there. Copper one plus are unstable. They tend to disproportionate. Oxidize here, reduce here. Disproportionation. First thing I want you to know over here. Second thing, I change color so that it uh, won't overlap. Is copper by right can do what? Can do all the way to plus three. By right, huh? So I want you to appreciate that there's, don't worry too much about it. I, I doubt it will come out. But if it ever come out, at least you know that there's such a thing. It's possible, but it's not within our jurisdiction also. Also that at least your V-shaped graph, huh, there's no flaws. Predicting, explaining redox reaction. Easy. Now, one of the application of transition metal compound is that in the field of redox chemistry. Right? We've seen this before. Now, ions that have very high uh, um, ions that have transition metal in the high OS tend to be very good uh, oxidizing agent. Why? Easy. If you see, uh, we have two back there again. A good oxidizing agent it itself gets what? Yeah, singlish, done itself gets reduced easily. So when it get reduced easily, must be because the oxidation state very big. Lah. Because you got nowhere to go. Plus six, plus seven. The only way is decrease. In OS. Done. This one I never ever studied before. Common sense. All right, change the color. Early transition metals in low OS, the opposite. They are good reducing agent. Obviously, because why is self want to get oxidized? So this is plus three, this is plus two. The I think increase make more sense than decrease. Done. So if I give you a hypothetical uh, ion, I don't know what lah. Anyhow, I model after this. Okay, let's say like this. Only any idea I have? Uh, never mind. I'll just use this. Ladies and gentlemen, sulfate is commonly used in redox chemistry. Uh, do you think this is a good oxidizing or reducing agent? Explain. Two marks. But you know why I immediately think of sulfate? I give you the clue, okay? Because sulfate come out in data booklet before. The data booklet E not value, right side, left side of the double arrow, oxidized species, reduced species. Do you see what I see? All of them are good agents. You take a look at sulfate. What did sulfate do? Someone, oxidation state of sulfur here, plus. You're supposed to be further. I think it makes sense that it's going to decrease. I think if you ask me to predict, I think it's a good oxidizing agent. 
I think. That gets itself reduced. And in your data in Brickler, there is a lot of ions there. So any one of them can come out. See how I use my data book or not? Friend, that's how we do H2 chem. Not memorizing. I have very little content to memorize if I'm preparing for A-levels. H2 chem. If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you would like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com. You'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.